Welcome to the next gas giant right after Jupiter is Saturn. Saturn is actually named after the after Jupiter's father, which is named Saturn. Saturn has brilliant rings around this gas giant, and that's what it's well known for. These rings aren't actually solid rings, but they're made of small chunks of ice and rock that orbit the planet. The rings are divided into se separate segments named by when they were found. We see the rings so brilliantly because they ref refract the sun's light, reflect the sun's light back to us. But they're no more than 200 meters thick. Now one of the neat moons is Titan. And we have a spacecraft called Cassini right now currently orbiting Saturn. It released a probe that went down into the moon Titan. Titan, the moon, is so neat because it actually has an atmosphere, which is different than a lot of other planets. But something else at Saturn that Cassini is doing while at Saturn is detecting lightning strikes. So we're going to see if you can work just like the Cassini spacecraft and detect lightning strikes. You'll need to find your little AM radio. Okay, turn the radio on by just turning it up here. You should get some nice static. Let's go down to the lowest frequency down here that just has static. Okay? Now, once you get good static in there, you need to stand close to the generator. Have one person stand close to the Van de Graaff, but not too close with the radio. Now, the other person is going to go ahead and get a little closer to the Van de Graaff. They're going to turn the Van de Graaff switch on Increase the speed so it's pointing no more than straight up. You don't need it on high. And then they will use the discharge bulb to cause a lightning strike. So you turn it on. You increase the speed. I might need to go a little more than straight up here. Not full blast. Okay. Let it go for just a minute. Now if you Aim this a little closer. You'll have the little lightning strike jump from the band graph to the discharge bulb. When that happens, whoever has the radio needs to be listening very closely to the static. You'll notice a change in that static. Now, can you get that static on any other frequency? Change the frequency on the radio. Try it again. It's not going to be a lot of noise, but you'll hear a little click over your radio, and that's exactly how Cassini is detecting lightning on Saturn. Have a great time on the next planet.